right, Senator. Well, do we need more proof that bailouts are a broad deal? Chrysler sitting on those big bucks and looking to reimburse unions. My next guest says, what about taxpayers? When do we get that money? We've got Chapwood Capital Managing Partner, Ed Batowski. That's a good point, Ed. No, it's an excellent point. I mean, first of all, no one asked us if we wanted to give them the money, right? All right? Now they, we, they got a lot of money. And when did a billion dollars become a rounding error that we just write off? So you said before you go marching on along your merry way, give the money back and see how you do. Hey, I have a friend I lent money to. He's not paying me back. I'm pretty angry. I think all Americans should be pretty angry. It's a billion dollars. And think about where that money could go. That money could go to schools. It could go to some of the construction that everybody seems to want you know, to, for our you know, infrastructure. There's a lot of things we can do with that money. But why should they just write it off? And they're sitting on it. It's not as though they don't have the money, Neil. The money's sitting right there. It's in cash. Sandra Maybe just said it. Maybe they're warding off the next meltdown. Well. <laughs> money in for the next storm. Yeah. Uh, what is your sense of, of all of these bailouts and everything? I don't want to lump them all with the banks and everything mm -hmm. else. But a trillion dollars when all is said and done between everything. Um, to what end? I mean, you know, it's very difficult because we don't know what would have happened. But generally speaking, I'm very much of a free market person. And I think we're going to find out. the argument back then that the free markets fail? I mean, remember well, George Bush's famous, Mark, I'm a free market here, but they, they just went kabooey. Yeah, but, you know, people panicked at a point. And, you know, right. you know we, we all didn't know what was happening. There wasn't a lot of clarity. We can look back and say we shouldn't have done it. I agree. I believe in a lot of cases we shouldn't have done it. And then someone will say, well, in what cases should you have done it? And, you know, what? we don't have enough information to really know. But I think we're going to find out as time goes on. It would have been nice to see everything happen because I think we're just delaying it. I think we're kicking the can down the road. We can smell it in the air that there's some negative things coming. And just look over in Spain right now. You said a little while ago. What did ago. you make of that? And what do we have to look forward right. to there? Because oh, I think Spain right. is the tip off. Yeah. I think, you know, obviously there, mm -hmm. you know, rates in Italy have been going up steadily. Mm -hmm. Portugal, much the same. I don't think we're over that. Uh, we, we have major problems around the world. And when the people in this country need to understand when they hear about Spain, they need to be concerned because Europe represents 20% of the world's gross domestic product. So Brazil, Russia, India, and China, and the United States, along with Japan, all trade with Europe. Spain isn't just one country. It's really a proxy for the rest of Europe. You know what? I hear a lot of people who hear experts like you talk about that say, ah, these brilliant guys like Ed have been saying this forever and mm -hmm. it's like waiting for Godot. doesn't happen. Yeah, well, they were saying that about the mortgages too, right? They were. Yeah. So when does this all go boom? Well, it depends on, you know, think about this. The world economy is being lifted by a printing press. That's really what's happening today. Over in Europe, we're printing more money, putting more money into these funds to secure things. Markets move based on if we're going to print here in the United States, quantitative easing three. If we print, markets go up. What happened to this world? It's crazy. When is it going to happen? Maybe when they say we're not going to print any more money, we're not going to have any more bailouts. Maybe at that point it starts to happen. But I also think that it's not going to be avoided. We're going to have major problems in Europe. When is it going to happen? I don't know, but it's going to happen. Where would you put your money real quickly in the interim? Well, in, you know, it, that's a tough place. I, I'm very much a supporter of utilities, some commodities, uh, commodity you know, funds of different kinds. But you know, it's a much deeper discussion. But I would not have money in Europe, and I would not have money in the emerging markets right now. Wow. Ed, always good seeing you. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely.